How's it going guys? Welcome back to West of Loathing. We just checked out the last custard stand and the jeweler's cabin. Kinda looking for something else to do. I, I don't know if I go hit up all the different shops in Frisco and stuff right now. Let's just head to the mine. I, I've checked out the other two things on the map that have come up thus far. I'll check out the one remaining one that we have here. Good, I do want to fight more El Vibrato things because I need more scraps, because I need more keystones, I just need to progress that storyline and I feel like I'm getting so near the end. The bleeping of your El Vibrato transponder leads you to a hulking robot standing motionlessly out in the desert with a vulture perched on it. The vulture quickly flaps away as the robot lights up and starts moving towards you. I thought maybe it would be something I wouldn't have to fight. A hulking robot? How big is this thing going to be? Not that big. And honestly, it's still not that strong. Pretty easy to blow that away still. Good experience. Scraps. You force the robot back into shutdown mode and the vulture reclaims its perch. Moon bits. Powdery little bits of moon rock. A real curiosity in this day and age. Hooray. There we are. Let's see. Anything, anything that I can, you know, forage around here. Ooh, is, it, is this uh, something that I can do mind explaining? Yes, it is. This dry washer is caked in dirt. Wash and dry it. You scrub the machine down. It doesn't look any better afterwards, but you do find some ore wedged in crannies here and there. Unrefined meat nugget. Two of them. Just sell them. They're not even worth that much meat. I'll sell them sometime, I'm sure. The strange silvery crystal. Now, is this something I can put in a ring, or is this going to be like quest relevant in the mines here? This crystal is silver in the sense that it's silver colored, but not silver in the sense that it is not made of silver. Okay, thanks for clearing that up for me. I don't mind telling you, these places make me nervous. I admit, they are increasingly unsettling. Still, gonna go check it out though, ain't ya? Anything for a weird life. Anything to do with the rock piles, nah. Just in we go. This elevator has a lot of stuff wrong with it. Hit the problems with percussive maintenance. I wonder how I would have fixed it if I didn't have that. You hit the elevator in the right places, now I can ride it down. Maybe that's just literally what it takes to make it down to this elevator. So maybe it's not going to be very main quest, El Vibrato, larger story relevant then if it's like something that you don't necessarily get to access automatically. Might have more track based puzzles. This mine isn't that great, but its cabinet is a big plus. Lots of smelling salts, nerve pills, blood building tonic, things that I have. This switch has long since rusted away to uselessness. Maybe I can't do anything with it. And also rusted away to uselessness. Something I can probably rummage through. Abandoned in a hurry. A lot of meat. And the mine splaining bonus. Awesome. That's. I wish I would have had that sooner, honestly. Whoa, what is up with these weird rock lines? I swear someone in the comments said something about, they gave me a hint that it had something to do with like weird rocks and crop circles. I don't have a pickaxe anymore? Shit. Well, let me pop around to the mine here because maybe I can find one. If not, I'm sure I can head to town and there will be uh, somewhere to buy one. Probably, more than likely at least. A little square of rocks is nothing. thought maybe I could interact with that. This switch has long since rusted away to uselessness. Not that it was all that useful before, given the track layout. <laughs> I mean, it could just make things either go into this wall or turn into this room here. I, I had to check every one of them because I thought for sure that they would start having different item descriptions. Uh, maybe there is... Oh, jeez. Uh, I was thinking maybe there is a cart full of dynamite that I can blow into this rock wall or something. Gonna have to fight these snakes to get through it. Well, I'm a snake oiler. I shouldn't I shouldn't balk at the opportunity to fight snakes. If I do, then then what kind of man am I? I don't deserve to bear the title of snake oiler. Now, which one's a little bit stronger? You you can use a quick wrap up, and I'm gonna go ahead and hope and assume that this thing can't kill me in one go. All right, they're tough. They're they're certainly tough snakes, but nothing that I need to worry about too too hard. Susie can't do any damage, but you can at least save me from taking any. Pretty pretty straightforward. And overkill with the fan hammer there. Uh, regular coal skin, snake skins that I've had before. You deftly dispatched the trio of serpents. Hooray! 
and just lots of stuff to to root around in and get all the mind splaining bonuses that's good five meat nuggets that ain't too shabby wow is there really that little down here i have to feel like there's something i can do with that but it's feeling like not oh but there was these other rooms that I could go into that I kind of nearly completely forgot about. Just gotta keep track of things here. Ah, shit, I need a pickaxe to deal with these too, don't I? Ah, uh, well, there's definitely other shit going on down here, but I need to run to town. Let me go to Breadwood. I don't really, I don't, I want to focus on the mine right now. If I go to Frisco, to the store that I haven't been to ever before, then all of a sudden I'm going to be going down a whole other branch that I don't want to be going down just yet. Uh, a quick lightning snake. I can just blow blow one of those away. Same as I have uh, about 50 times before, I'm certain. Wait a second, is there not a merchant in Breadwood? Breadwood sucks. Nothing at Button Willow's store. Now I gotta go to Dirtwater. Right, there's the trading post in the Buttery Biscuit. Damn it. Lassos are useful. I might as well buy up some of those. But shit. I'm going to go back to the mine, into the other parts of the mine, and hope that I can find a pickaxe laying around there somewhere. A flash of brilliant orange next to the trail catches your attention. You park old dumbass next to the rock and hop down to investigate. It's a Frisco poppy. They used to grow everywhere around here, but they're pretty rare since the cows came home. The cause and effect there is still kind of murky. The Frisco poppy. This once prolific but now rare species of poppy only grows in the area outside Frisco despite the protests of the other native flora who don't want it to grow in their backyard. It increases mysticality. Probably something you eat. I don't think it would be a potion or, or alcohol. But don't need the mysticality boost. It's a, it's a good... bodes well for the fact that I, I'll probably start finding much more valuable things throughout throughout this Frisco related area like that my general stat increasing items that I find will be will be stronger than what I found before I kind of predicted that that would be the case you kind of can assume but even more so than I originally thought I think a big stash of mining gear damn it they couldn't have had a pickaxe and all that mining gear well I don't want to go down there I don't like the spiral the spiral shape is making you feel strange you want to stop looking at the spiral right now Let's see, anything useful. Abandoned cultist cave, some bedrolls. This place seems poorly ventilated for a campfire. Maybe that's why no one's here. Uh, I don't think they all passed out or anything though. They, I guess they just pieced out. Someone's doodled spirals all over the table. It's a shelf containing an effectively infinite amount of sarsaparilla. You've already got plenty. I don't have that much. I wonder how much it takes for it to- I hate this spiral. I wonder how much it takes for it to say, you don't need any more. I hate that spiral too. The note says, Dear Jeff, got called up north to deepest delve. See you soon. Praise be, Roberto. Sincerely, Jeff. Well, not a lot of anything around here. I wish I had a pickaxe though. That's my the one hang up that I'm having right now. Shit. That is actually everywhere I can look without a pickaxe. Guess that means I'm going to Frisco, and then hopefully someone there will sell me one. A goblin suddenly runs up with an armload of driftwood and dumps it out in front of you. Hello? Look, sculptures I am making. You were buying an art, yes? Well, uh, buying an art or killing? Well, talk to him. Aw, oh, wow. <laughs> She's turning into Morty. Oh, wow, jeez, that's a little over the top there, Rick. Buying art now. Okay, okay, how much wanting for one of these art? 300 meats. Well, I'll haggle with him a little bit. 300 meats is crazy price. I haggling. 250 meats are killing. Buy a driftwood weapon? Hat? Shield? Hmm. I, well, I'll try the shield. I, the weapon isn't going to be a pistol. It'll probably be a sword, so try an offhand thing, I guess. You give him 250 meat and pick up, well, any piece of driftwood can be used as a shield, right? Driftwood sculpture. <laughs> it looks like it's a little stump off of another one. About the best thing you can say about the sculpture is that it occasionally ends up in between you and something that's trying to hit you. It's an off offhand item. Well, I thought there might be like the off chance that somehow it would be like incredibly good. Not the case. It was just a regular piece of wood with pretty much nothing special about it whatsoever. Uh, I already wandered around Clune Seas, and I didn't see anywhere to, to buy or trade anything. 
I went in the rough housing pile already. Well, let's check out the Frisco station. I guess that would be a train station. This is a nice station. Too bad there's no train that runs to it yet. And the movie theater? Word on the street is that Projectionist Wanted 2 is already in the works. Oh, that's literally the film. Are you, can I not go in the theater? Is that literally just there for a joke? I'm completely unsurprised by that fact, honestly. Well, I guess I just start doing some wanders because I need to find Wander and Sally or some way of getting a pickaxe. I have no idea. You see familiar outline of an army fort and zag old dumbass toward it to investigate. The sign says Fort Unnecessary. Well, I'll check it out and I'll be the judge of that. I'm sure it's plenty necessary. I don't need to undermine this fort. I don't need to... I, I don't want to make it feel like it has less value than it truly does. It's not my place to judge. Someone arranged these cannons haphazardly and left them out in the rain. They just, they're just rusted out. For unnecessary. I like how it's split up across two lines there. This place don't look abandoned, just a bit run down. I hear soldiers inside. Maybe they don't know what they're doing. Or stop caring. Could be both. Well, a harried looking young woman in a military outfit darts in front of the door as you enter. Oh no, I can't be having any more misfits in this jerkwad. You can either swear to me that you're halfway competent, heck, even a quarter, and that you'll help sort out this crew of no hoppers, or you can turn right back around and march double time. I don't know what a no hopper is. Uh, sure, I'll help. All right, I'm gonna hold you to that promise. Come in, I'm Captain Harriet Davenport. When it said it was a harried looking woman, is that because she was Harriet? My name is the Grimy Slinger, what's the problem, Cap? Problems. Welcome to Camp Fubar, where all the army, army's idiots and rejects are sent, so they're out of the way. I have had up to my eyeballs trying to run this place. Please help these morons figure out their malfunctions. <laughs> what is your major malfunction, Private? What Figure out their malfunctions? I don't know if that's a thing they actually normally say, like a definable army term, or if that's literally just going off that one movie quote. So they can muster out of here and leave me in peace. Can you give me some details? You need to talk to them individually for information, but the brief is, we've got a scout who's blind as a bat, a cook who can't figure out how to make corned beef hash on toast, a guy who can't load and fire a cannon without it blowing up or maybe shooting backwards, a guy who somehow, I can't for the life of me figure it out, is too bow-legged to ride a horse, and a kid who was sent here because he can't figure out how to tie a bow tie. Seriously, that gets you sent to the, the foo bar camp? Oh, and just with the icing on the cake, we have infinite goblins living in our storage shed. Wow. Can I go fight the goblins? I kind of got talked out of killing goblins, and I've been trying to not kill goblins ever since. And I'd rather not keep doing it now, but if it's a good way to level up, I might have to consider it. Wow, and I mean, if they're infinite, then I'm not going to hurt the population. It should be forgivable, right? I, I okay, I, I begin to see the scope of your complaint. Pal, you are not just whistling Dixie. So, what'd you do to get sent here? You can hear her teeth grinding as she growls at you. Do not ask. Okay, well, I'll just take a look around then. I got a nice watchtower there that I can use to scope out some things. I've collected quite a few binoculars that I haven't used. How about you? Which screw-up are you? Probably the cannon guy? This, oh, he's the blind guy. <laughs> this guy squints real hard as you approach. Howdy. Do I know you? Your fuzzy silhouette don't seem familiar. Nope, I'm just passing through. What do you do here? Well, I'm supposed to be a scout, but I went and broke my only pair of glasses. Without him, I can't see a damn thing. I could give him disposable binoculars, but what's he going to do with them? They're, they're not going to last, right? Give them a try. He takes the binoculars and peers at you through them. Well, I'll be. That ain't half bad. He climbs up to the top of the watchtower and looks around. They work. I can see a dang thing. <laughs> Did he start out by saying I can't see a dang thing? Hooray! Uh, they're disposable, though. Hopefully they last. You climb up the watchtower, take a look around. Nice view from up here. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm not going to use the binoculars just now. I just wanted to see if maybe he could scout things out for me. Something like that. Administration, mess hall. This horse has four left legs. The super bow-legged guy. Someone who, the guy who's scared of cannons, I guess. Uh, it looks like he blew most of them up. 
That must be the shed full of uh, goblins. Hey, I learned how to fire, fire cannons. Maybe I could teach him. Howdy, what's the haps? I'm supposed to be a cannoneer, but I'm terrible at loading cannons. They always explode, except not the way they're supposed to explode, or else they don't explode at all. Huh? The only time I ever got one to fire right, the cannonball knocked my sergeant's hat off, and he was standing behind me. So was that actually it firing right or not? I still can't figure out how that happened. So they assigned me to this loser squad and said I can't report back for a proper duty until I've figured out how to load a cannon. Uh, I can either help them figure it out with a mysticality check or give them cannon loading for idiots. I thought eventually that would come back around. I thought I was going to have to teach a goblin or something because it was it said it was written in like the simplest language possible. Here, take the book. Oh, huh, well, let's see. He flips through the pages, which have big numbered diagrams. Oh, you take the stick back out before you put the cannonball in? Well, that certainly sounds easier. Just leave him to figure it out. He carefully follows along the directions in the book and successfully fires a cannonball over the wall of the fort. I did it! Wow, great! Thanks a lot! I'm gonna go get a new assignment right away! Cool, good luck! Oh man, there's gonna be no one stationed here and that's gonna get attacked and be undefended or something. Howdy, they call me Private Bowlegs. Well, I'm sure... Are you sure it's not like Private Bowlegs Privates or something like that? Seems like you'd kind of be having your privates a little bit on display if they're as bow-legged as people seem to say. I can see why. You seem uncomfortable. You ain't kidding. Look at my legs. They're bent so far out I can hardly touch both knees at once. Walking hurts like a dickens. The captain said it keeps you from riding a horse. Yep, they're too wide. Horse slips right out between them. Huh? I think I could ride a mule, though. What, with them being a tad lower to the ground? Where would you get a mule? Well, I'll just bend your legs back into place. Huh, well, I, uh, okay. Hmm. You don't need a mule. This is fixable. So, somehow, with muscle, I'm going to mite your legs permanently back into place. The world's first chiropractic appointment. Hold still a moment. Huh, well, I, uh, okay. With some grunts from you and some cries of pain from him, you normalize his legs. Oh, great jumping Jiminy, man. Oh, don't be a baby. Look like Looks like they're much straighter now. I guess I can't deny that. He winces as he mounts the nearby horse and rides out of the camp. Hooray. And I guess there'll be a few other people left in here. I'm taking care of your problems in like a few minutes here, lady. Harry, Harriet, you should be so grateful for me. I'm just, I'm just wonderful, aren't I? There's a nameplate on the desk that says, General, what's his name? Investigate it. The desk is basically empty, but you do find an old medal discarded in one of the drawers, the Medal of Adequacy. This medal was awarded to General France, Francois, what's his name, for his wholly undistinguished service. <laughs> this item goes on your lapel. Ah, crap. But I, I can't... I'm not going to be able to replace this, right? Ooh, but plus nine moxie versus plus seven everything. That's probably got to be that's got to be better for me overall, I think. Oh man, look how like how close together my stats are starting to get at this point. Switch that back. Yeah, the, I didn't realize how well-rounded my character kind of generally was. All right, which of these was I trying to add to gumption? I think I wanted the extra spleen, extra AP would be good too. Next next time I level it up, I'll get the extra spleen. It's going to take so much experience. Jesus. Uh, not excited about that, honestly. I'm not sure where else to pour experience for now. Pretty much just got to save it up for these things. Most of my skills are, like, maxed out. All the ones that matter the most. I could try and get quick on the draw. Maybe better dickering. Ah. It's so rare that I buy things and I do have quite a bit of money. I, I probably won't worry about dickering. Not for a while, at least. I can probably rummage through all this. It would be cruel to loot these people's supplies. Come on, you literally root ev loot everyone's su supplies on like a very regular basis. What's the harm? You shouldn't take their food. They'd probably never be able to get any more. Because they're just so useless? Well, that's why I'm shipping them all out of here. I'm helping them. You shoot yourself a wink. Looking good there. Nice and moxious wink. Howdy. Hey, what's wrong? Aw, oh, gee willikers. I had a pretty good job as the general's personal assistant, but I got fired and reassigned here. What happened? Oh, everything was great at first. I'm pretty good at scheduling, and I can write shorthand, and I'm an A-plus boot polisher. 
but then, then the general went and decided he'd look m more serious and sophisticated with a bow tie. He expected me to do the tying for him. No good? No. I can do a sheep shank and a, and a bow line and a, a, a clover hitch, but for the life of me, I, I can't get a bow tie to look right. The, the general sent me out here with one to practice on and, and said not to come back till I get it right. Well, allow me to just use my moxie. Okay, here, grab the two ends like this, right? You want this side a little shorter, and that end crosses over the top, and then under and up, while the other side does a sort of zigzag, see? Then you bring the upper bit straight down and back around, and it folds under there, and then you pull them tight. Got it? I've only worn one bow tie in my life personally, and it was a clip-on. I know how to tie a tie, but I only know how to tie one knot of a tie. Nothing on bow ties. Completely useless. I think so. Let me try. Let him try. The two of you go back and forth a few times until he finally gets it right without poking himself in the eye. I think I got it. Th thanks a lot. W wait till I show the general. He runs out of the building waving the bow tie in the air. Good luck to you, young man. I'm going to shoot myself another wink for a job well done. You earned it. Look at this guy. He's just trying to do yoga, but he's just terrible at it. You should focus more on cooking. Howdy, private cooker. Did you literally get the job because your name is Private Cooker? <laughs> Maybe they should have uh, asked you what your skill set was rather than just biasing it off your name. How appropriate? Well, it would be if I knew how to cook, like, even a little bit. What seems to be the trouble? We've only got two ingredients here and I cannot for the life of me figure out how to combine them. What are the ingredients? Corn, beef, hash, and toast. Try to help him with a metaphor. <laughs> I'll come back if I think of something. I'll just, I'll use a metaphor, how about that? What if you thought of the toast as a shingle, a roadmap, a shoe, your elbow, how about a shingle? He nods, seeming to understand where you're going with this, and think of the corned beef as a corn cob pipe, shinola, your head, a hole in the ground. All right, which of these make the most sense to go together? Oh, I don't get to see, I don't get to see the options from before. As Shinola? I should think of, I should say shoe and Shinola. So I put the corned beef hash under, no, next to, no, no, I'm sorry, I don't get it. Can we try again? Sure, let's try again. Think of the toast as a shoe and the corned beef as Shinola. Of course, you put the corned beef on the toast, just like Shinola on a shoe. I get it now, thank you. All in a day's work, man. God, I'm good at what I do. Can I do anything with the stove here while I'm at it? No, God, I'm good at what I do. I thought maybe now that everyone left, I could loot their stuff. Harriet, I've solved everything. I'm such a hero. Great job. That's everyone dealt with and out of here. And that means I'm finally out of this hellhole, too. If we ever cross paths again, I really owe you one. Captain Davenport frisbees her clipboard, snaps you a salute, and marches out of the fort. All in a day's work. I actually totally wiped out this entire fort. It's totally empty. It's now more unnecessary than it's ever been. I feel like it was full of a bunch of rejects, a bunch of unnecessary people. Now the fort itself is completely unnecessary, except for the scout tower. So maybe I give a quick scout. Why not? You scan the horizon, but you don't see anything you don't already know about. Man, there's not a lot of stuff to discover on this side of things, is there? Getting a little worried, because that means I'm going to have to start taking on some of like the later game things. And then I'm just wholly unready for any of that. Not nearly strong enough. A large man with a large hammer interrupts your journey by leaping out from behind a rock and shouting, You damn ghosts won't get me, and I'll hammer you back into the grave where you belong. That's a new one. Sell him an anti-ghost charm. Whoa, hold on there, fella. I'm no ghost. And anyway, that sledgehammer of yours isn't going to do much to a ghost, now is it? Well, now that you mention it, what's this about ghosts anyways? I've been working construction at the Winchester Mansion. That place is haunted. Haunted, I tell you. Seems like you need a little magic for that hammer. Also, you should tell me where this place is. I need something new to do. I can enchant it for you if you have some meat. Really? I didn't take you for a beanslinger, mister. Nah, I'm not. My granny taught me a few tricks, though. You scratch some fancy-looking squiggles onto the head of the hammer with a penknife and carve plus one versus ghosts on the handle. There you are, friend. Good luck. The man strides away with newfound confidence and new lost meat. Meat and experience. Always love a good horn swoggle. Although I should probably try to fight one or two of these guys to get a better sense of how strong things are in the area. You find a rough wooden cross stuck in the ground with the word some jerk carved in it. I guess it's a grave? Oh yeah, it's definitely a grave. Check out this grave stuff. I... I, I 
there was somewhere over on this side of things that I used a bunch of skull chips and I, I think it was at the at the hippie place, the Fort of Darkness or whatever, that people were making things out of teeth and skull chips and stuff. Uh, I wonder if there's any other purpose for that teeth, if I should keep hanging on to it. It wasn't anything very interesting that they made for me uh, the last time I had tried. There was like a crown or a tiara or something that I definitely didn't use because it wasn't that great anyways. Several loud gunshots ring out as you round a large cluster of boulders and you dive into cover. Peeking cautiously around the corner, you discover a goblin shooting a large pistol at a pile of nailed together driftwood. These goblins really in this area really love driftwood. I guess it's kind of special being up against the shore there. Hello? Oh, hello! What doing? Targets practicing? Nope, sculpting. <laughs> Wait, this isn't the same guy, is it? You take another look, and from the right angle, the driftwood does kind of look like an owl, albeit one that's been shot a bunch of times with a pistol. Maybe this guy's better than the, uh, than the last one. He's a better sculptor. Help him. You spend a little time teaching the goblin how to improve his aim, and he gratefully gives you a handmade ring in exchange, which is convenient because you were originally planning on stealing it while shaking his hand. The sandalwood ring. This ring was carved from the sole of a wooden shoe. <laughs> this, because it's sandalwood. I gotcha. That's probably not as good as the one I have right now, is it? Oh, it's ever so slightly better. On to the ring you go then. Worth it. Thank you, goblin friend. Though I didn't do much to be considered a friend. Let's go to the mine and do some wanders from around the mine there and hopefully find a pickaxe or something. Damn it. You come to a fork in the road. A pair of twins are standing near a sign that says, Warning, vicious bears. You ask the guy which path is safe. And they say they'd be glad to tell you. But one of them always lies and the other always tells the truth. Well, just solve the tricky... Riddle, how about that? You suggest kicking both men repeatedly in the junk until they agree which is the correct path and they both point to the left. That took mysticality to just boot these guys in the nuts repeatedly. It's so mystical. They, they never saw it coming. I like came and went like a magician. You catch a glimpse of something colorful out of the corner of your eye and hop down to investigate it. Before you know it, you're mesmerized by a scintillating rainbow of shiny, multicolored scales. A moment later, you realize you've fallen for the oldest trick in the book. Specifically, the book about how Frisco Vipers trap their prey because you're surrounded by Frisco Vipers. Ooh, cool. Well, they look pretty much like the rest of them. Not colorful at all. <laughs> I thought that there was an off chance that they might be a little bit colorful, but not the case. Just had to look at which one was worth wrapping up. Gotta see who's strongest. Damn. Quite a bit of damage. Luckily I can like, you know, live through this. But uh it's it's a little sketchy. As soon as soon as I start getting attacked by 54 damage, right? That um Yeah, if all four of them had the chance to do that and did, you know, approximately the same damage, they'd kill me for sure. So that's, that's why I'm being so damn careful about all this. The skin of the Frisco Viper, with its tiny, shiny scales, is often used to make fancy headbands for dolls. Put us on your head for plus three to all stats. Now, normally it would list mysticality, moxie, muscle. Like, it would list them, plus three, all of them. When it says all stats, that's much broader. That, I think, means all it would be grit gumption and glamour you're kidding me i have to i have to somehow pry this snakeskin thing off of my hat i need that instead some jerk thing again come on someone someone find me a pickaxe in one of these jerk graves i need to replace the snakeskin thing on my hat so badly an angry looking skeleton with a mining pick is stalking you, I guess. Now that I think about it, most skeletons are pretty angry looking. Kill him! Take his pick! I need that! I need it more than you do! So just hand it over, please, 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 please. Damn it! Ah! You destroy the skeleton and take your pick of his possessions! My pick is to take his pick! That's your pick, not my pick! Damn you! Damn you for that tease! I thought for sure I was gonna have it! Ah! El vibrato! Fight it! Get myself some some quick scraps. Uh, probably have enough to go grab a keystone again now, but I, I want to get at the El Vibrato stuff down in the abandoned mine before I 
worry about deciding exactly what I want to do with the scraps. Maybe I should be going and building uh, the footwear or some of that stuff. So I don't want to make that decision just yet. Old Dumbass gets a little skittish, and a few moments later you understand why. A low Nordic drone signals the existence of a nearby hive of Viking bees. You hop down and follow your ears to the source. That sounds cool. Raid the hive. You extract as much honey as you can before the stinging gets unbearable. Mead. This is honey wine stolen from drunk bees. Uh, extra muscle. That's nothing. It's the bees' knees, though. So that's... Something. You've convinced me. You've con convinced me that it's worth having. Well, next time, guys, I guess I'm just going to keep wandering around a little bit. Uh, try and explore more of the map here. Mostly try to find a pickaxe. And now my new secondary largest goal is to find a way to replace the headband on the hard hat here. Because that is going to make such a world of difference. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.